Good morning. We are in the car. We are heading to the consulate of Spain where, fingers crossed, hopefully Jose can renew his passport. Hopefully he has everything. You guys know how stressful that is. And um, the car next to us is really loud. <clears throat> and then I will probably just hang out at a coffee shop until he's done because I'm not allowed in there. But going for the ride, get a nice coffee. We'll probably grab some breakfast because the consulate's in Coral Gables, which is a really nice area. If you can hear it in my voice, I'm a little under the weather, but I won't let that stop me because I tell myself not to be a baby because when I was a teacher, I would go to work unwell just so I didn't have to take off work because teachers are superheroes and it, it is harder to take off of work when you're a teacher than it is to just go in and have to deal with plans so I'm very thankful that I work for myself now but I once went into work very sick so I have an event tonight I want to go to don't worry it's not the vid we already did a test and all of that so Today I'm not really going to be playing with too much makeup. We have some admin stuff to get through, lots of computer work I have, and then hopefully we can grab a nice breakfast, so I'll meet you there. I'm in Barnes and Nobles now. Jose's finishing up. I normally just read on my iPad, but I thought I would get a little inspired by physical books. Okay, <laughs> I got home from Coral Gables and I laid down for like an hour and a half because I was so tired. This being sick business, I tell ya. And I woke up and I was like, oh my gosh, I gotta get ready because I do have a work event tonight. Because no, I'm really, really introverted, so it takes a lot of prep both emotional and physical for me. <laughs> I think it's really exciting to be even invited to these events, but man, they take a lot out of me. My social battery just depletes so quickly. It's a good thing I didn't move to LA because I feel like they have so many more beauty events there. And I always feel like these are opportunities in life that I never would have gotten. So I need to always step out of my comfort zone and go and I never regret it. But gosh, if I lived in LA, <laughs> my social battery would consistently be on zero. At least in Miami, the ones I get invited to, they're like probably one every other month, if that, not very often. And that's the way I like it. Enough to make me feel like I'm included but not too much to where I hate my life. Um, <laughs> so I am all prepped. I got out the shower, got the hair mask on, I got the face mask on. I'm putting on a nail color so that when I hop in the shower, I can clean off what I messed up. I never pay to get a pedicure. I really should, but I only get manicures. The color I'm gonna wear on my toes is Olive and June Blue Cannon. It's a very pretty blue. I'm gonna pop this on and continue this very long beauty prep because I normally give myself like three hours to get ready for an event. Is that a long time? I feel like that's a long time and I usually utilize the whole time. I only have like two and a half-ish hours. Let me let me stop blabbering. Mm, you know, I'm not about to show you my feet, Aww. but now that I've painted my nails, blue on toes is not a good idea. <laughs> it doesn't look good. It looks like... What's it called when you freeze and you have no blood circulation? I'm having a brain fart. Hypothermia. Well, what's done is done. So do my makeup while my hair dries. Starting off with Urban Decay All Nighter. So I gave myself enough time to get ready, but I didn't give myself enough time to get ready leisurely. So I'm gonna work a little 
less leisurely than I normally like to. I'm using a mixture of some of my favorite products to just ensure, you know, that I feel good, look good, that it wears good, but also, you know, I'm always testing new products. So this is kind of the ultimate test. But one thing that I cannot compromise on is my foundation. I'm gonna use my Dior Air Flash. I do have one more backup and then it's game over. I'm not sure, so don't quote me on this, but I think they'll probably come out with a reformulated one. I'm really hopeful. Let's get this on, but this is the most beautiful foundation in the whole wide world. So I thought this would be a good video to give you guys some life updates because I haven't done that in a while. I did talk about it a little bit in my most recent YouTube membership beauty buffs videos, but I've been really stressed off camera lately. I feel like adulting has hit me all at once. I feel like in general, Jose and I, that's my husband if you don't know, we tend to have a lot more paperwork than the average person our age because he is an immigrant so we've been going through an immigration process for the last couple of years. I own a business, I'm self-employed, so being self-employed there's a ton of paperwork that goes with that. So in this last month, right, tax season, that's always crazy. And our lease was running out, so we had to figure out what we wanted to do. We had to inquire about Jose's immigration status because Jose's sister is getting married this summer. Jose just had to get his passport renewed. We're working on getting his Florida driver's license because they said they were going to mail it to him and they never mailed it to him. It's just been a lot hitting us at once. But the exciting updates will start off with the positives. So we are moving at the end of March, end of this month, but that is going to add to my stress level, of course. Luckily, on a positive note, we are moving in the same building and we're moving to a two bedroom. I'm literally in my living room right now. <laughs> we do not have a couch, so you better believe I am so excited to get my own beauty room. So I'll do a video on like setting up, reorganizing my new beauty room. So I'm really excited about that. We got, dare I say, a good price for the market. We did not get a good price for a two bedroom. Some of you guys would like faint over if we told you how much I paid for a two bedroom. <laughs> um, if you had told me last year how much we would pay before moving to Miami and knowing the market, I would have fainted. But you know, you learn to accept the prices if it's an area that you really want to live in. And luckily, we thought we were going to have to move out of our building because we were definitely priced out for two bedrooms. They even increased our rent for our one bedroom, which was crazy. But there was like two or three off random weird days where the two bedrooms in our building, they must have had a lot available. The prices shot down like a five six hundred dollars so you better believe jose and i ran downstairs and we secured one of those units we do have to pay a fee because we're technically breaking our lease to move a little earlier but get this the prices of the other two bedrooms in our building have gone up since those three days like seven hundred dollars a month <laughs> so the price that we're paying to break our contract does not even touch the price we would have paid overall if we had to pay the prices of the two bedrooms now. So I feel so lucky because the day after we signed the paper to say that we were switching units, it went up $600 for that unit and I was like, whew. So I'm really excited about that. This was less than I thought we were gonna pay. I, I'm very happy with what it turned out because recently, I mean, the rent in Miami has been going up the last year since we moved. So things weren't looking too good. I would say we got the best deal I've seen on a two bedroom in the location that we live in, you know, in a nice building. So I'm really excited about that. And I'm so excited for my two bedroom. So we're going to be moving at the end of this month. And then right after that, we're gonna see my parents. So we're gonna have like a little mini vacation a week later. So I'm kind of stressed about that in terms of work. I know I don't need to be, but I just wanna make sure. It's a lot going on, okay? You know I like to keep up with my videos and content because this pays the bills. 
So I, I need to be on it. It's hard just to take off. And then, so Jose, you saw, got his passport done today. We have to wait for that to come in. And then we're waiting until hopefully his immigration stuff comes in so he can travel. Because we did go see a lawyer because we applied in 2020 for him to get his green card. And while your paperwork is being processed, he can't leave the country or they would literally just take it away, like as if we never applied and have to start the process all over. So we tried to see if we could expedite his paperwork or something, anything, right? And we have been unsuccessful. We went and saw a lawyer. The lawyer was like, yeah, now you're just going to have to wait because everything in immigration is really, really, really backed up, like double time. So we will be devastated if we cannot make his sister's wedding. So if any of you guys have any connects, let me know. <laughs> We've been told to contact our congressmen. They don't want to be contacted. They like do everything in their power to make sure that we cannot get a hold of them. Anyways, my eyebrows are turning out so funky, but that's the life update. We're moving at the end of the month. We're going on vacation. Immigration sucks. Tax season absolutely sucks. I have been stressed, but I'm just excited to move into a two bedroom. So that's coming up. And we are staying in Miami. Obviously, if you couldn't gather that, we are staying in Miami, have renewed the lease. We really, really like it here a year later. I don't know that I see Miami as a forever place. If money ever permitted, I would love to own a condo here forever. So we'll see. I don't know how long we'll stay here, but I am happy here right now. I think it's a great place for us to be. I'm going to finish this makeup because this is making me go a lot slower and I don't have that type of time. So I'll show you the final look. Baby, you got me Oh my goodness, you guys, my voice is shot right now. My throat is on fire. I think I might have just done too much last night. So you saw some clips of the event. It was so fun. They did a really good job. They had like a sketch artist who would take a sketch of you. We made bracelets. Mine was so ugly. Lots of cute places for pictures. They had the little coconuts. Oh, it was such a good time. But what I'm always mostly excited about is the goodie bags. And I'm really excited about this. <laughs> We got some new razors. So this is the Gillette Venus. This is what the event was for last night. They came out with a Miami collection. And so the handles are inspired by Miami. And you know how expensive razors are. Like, you know, I love getting makeup. But because I get makeup so much, it makes it a little bit more fun to get daily necessities like these that I normally buy myself. And I also got a cute little beach towel. So thank you so much for inviting me. It was a good time. I think I overdressed a little bit. I wasn't beachy enough, but my dress was so cute and flattering. I saw it on Nordstrom on sale. It's by Lulu's. I'll link it for like $30, 50% off. And the it's funny because it has a one star review, but I feel like it was so flattering and so cute. So if they have it in your size, I'll have it linked because it was such a cute dress. Anyways, as you can see, I need to nurse my throat and my voice today. Uh, I woke up with the sorest throat. I need to just chill. I, it's Friday today, so this weekend is all about getting myself back into normal health because I hate being under the weather. I got too much to do. Oh, and about my makeup last night. Let me show you what I wore. Also, ignore this mess. I just noticed that. So these are the new and exciting products that I was testing last night. So I used the House Labs Dragon Fruit Days Blush. And then I used the Huda Beauty Matte Cool or Cool Matte Obsessions Palette. So this is the new one that just launched. Loved it. This blends out like a dream. But I felt like I wanted a little bit of oomph 
on the eyelid. So I used a good old Stila Glitter and Glow in the shade Rock and Rose, which I think was a limited edition color. But these matte palettes are the perfect opportunity to wear the individual liquid shadows that you never wear. So I was excited about that. Loved my makeup last night. Okay, I'm gonna try, drink some tea, get myself together. And I got some editing to do.